YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy. We'll be back with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share the video, all of that. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell. I'm so tired of fighting. Black, black, black. Hold on, black. So, like I said, we are back with another video. So, I hope all y'all boys are staying strong. Y'all boys keeping y'all head up. But, this video is going to be basically me counting down my top five. I mean, you read the thumbnail. You see, I mean, you've seen the thumbnail. You read the title. We're going to be counting down my top five best backpack guns. So, five being the worst on the list and one being the absolute best, in my opinion, on the list. You know, that top dog. You know, that straight go to war thing. So that's what we be doing today. But first, we got to address the giveaway. So I did just hop off the live on uh, doing that Zestava, ZPAP, the SMG45, and the Micro Draco giveaway. So the winner got to choose whichever one they, they wanted. And that boy, Jonathan, I'm not going to pronounce his last name because I think I already butchered it all the live. So I don't really know how to pronounce his last name. But that boy, Jonathan, ended up walking away with the Zestava, ZPAP, M70. Now, that thing is super tough i'm telling you anybody who ever used that thing you already know what i'm talking about that thing is super stuff one of my top ak's like hands down so he ended up picking that zestava z pap zestava's new thing but the original giveaway as y'all know was supposed to be for that smg 45 let's go ahead and show you that it's clear so this thing does come with two 25 round magazines and i mean this is how it comes when it looks I mean, this is how it looks when it comes. So this was supposed to be the original giveaway, and we kind of added that to Stava, ZPAP, down the line. We kind of added that down the line so much. I know majority of people wanted this. A couple of people did want the Draco, and a couple of people did want that Zestava, but majority of people wanted this. So this is why I said on the live. I said, we're going to do something different that I never did. I mean, I already took an L on the giveaway anyways. So it is what it is, but um, since majority of people wanted this, we're going to do this. Everybody who already donated, Y'all, all y'all already in this. So all y'all already in this. If this video either gets to 20,000 views or 5,000 likes, either or 20,000 views or 5,000 likes in one day. So by the end of the day, then we're doing this. No more donations. We're not doing any more donations. So don't send any more donations. This is just for the people who was already in that last one. So like I said, if this video gets to either 20,000 views or 5,000 likes, we're going to be doing another giveaway, which is crazy. I mean, y'all already know about this, y'all. SMG45 by LWRC. This thing is, I mean, y'all already know about it. Y'all already know the price. Y'all know everything about this. So y'all already know how crazy this thing is right now. So that's what I'm saying. 20,000 views. No donations needed. No nothing. 20,000 20, views. 5,000 likes. We're going to get the thing jumping. So back-to-back -back giveaways going down. So... SMG 45, brand new in box. I mean, you really, I mean, you're super tough. Now, anyways, let's hop into what this video was really about. And that is my top five backpack guns. Count down from five all the way down to one. But everything got to be able to fit in a backpack. Because you, you can't, I mean, a lot of people say, oh, yeah, this is my top backpack, whatever. And it doesn't even fit in a backpack. So it has to be able to fit in a backpack. That's the first you know, that's the first rule, the first standard that we're going to go by. It has to be able to fit in a backpack, or you can't really call it a backpack gun. I mean, unless you rock it one of the big suitcase backpacks, then you, you might be able to put like 50 BMG in there or something like that. But right now, we're going to go with a regular backpack. Now, this is the one that came with my DRD Tactical MFP21. I mean, super tough. This is like a survival backpack right here. Super tough. Anyways, let's hop into number five on my list so like i said it has to be able to fit in a backpack otherwise it can be considered a backpack gun so number five on my list is i know this one's going to kind of be a shocker to some people but we're going to rock with that ptr let's go ahead and show you that this thing is clear first so they do give you these little cheap 20 round magazines now these are really inexpensive magazines that like you can find them everywhere they're like they're kind of like AK mags, honestly. Like they're super cheap. They only hold 20 rounds. So, I mean, it is what it is with that one. That's why this is kind of last on my list. And it is kind of bulky. So this is my PTR 91. And it does have that folding, that folding brace on it. And I just love the way this thing looks. And I love the way it shoots. So being that this thing is super heavy because it, it's kind of a replica of the HK 91. If you know about that, you know, but I mean, this thing just looks super tough. And it's one of the smoothest 308s that I've ever shot. In case you didn't know, this thing is chambered in 308. So that's kind of why I made the list. But I mean, it's super simple. This thing runs like a tank there. I never had any 
issues with this and you get that you know that little replica it's not an authentic one but you get a little replica of that hk slap i mean this thing is i mean it's nice y'all let me know what y'all think about this the reason why this thing even made the list is because this thing will eat anything you put through it i'm telling you this thing will eat and spit up anything you put through it so this is super reliable but then it's chambered in 308 so chambered in 308 it is kind of it is kind of like big and blocky like i mean for most people like it's i mean it fits me like a glove like i like it honestly but i wouldn't say that this would be the best so that's why i put this at number five the ptr 91 man this thing is super tough and i just love shooting it y'all like y'all gotta y'all gotta try it out to understand what i mean by this i know a lot of people's gonna be like why would you put a 308 as you know uh, the top backpack gun but y'all just gotta shoot it y'all gotta shoot it to really kind of understand it now this isn't your average backpack gun that you're gonna be walking around anywhere with this is like going to the woods type thing or country whatever wherever you're at i feel like that's where this one is really gonna shine so ptr 91 came in at number five next on that list like i said it has to be able to fit in a backpack so next on that list we got that cz scorpion taking off that number four spot let's go ahead and show you that this thing is clear a little magazine i think this is like 20 rounds too yep 20 round magazine um chambered in nine millimeter cz scorpion i really just like this because it's super compact it's lightweight but it feels like it's built really well now i don't really like all the plastic but i mean it is what it is i mean y'all check it out it got everything you need and it's super light like this thing is super light so i guess that's their end point but it is chambered in nine millimeter so i mean that's a good thing and a bad thing nine millimeter is very much available but it's nine millimeter and if you're gonna use a brace i feel like you could put a little power behind that like you could put a little v8 boost like if they would have put this in 10 millimeter oh my gosh i'm telling you like this would have been this would have been definitely closer to number one this chambered in nine in 10 millimeter but i think now this is only my opinion, but I think because of what they made it in, they made it in this plastic or whatever, I think they gotta change that around if they're gonna be really wanna use 10 millimeters. So nine millimeter, but it's a super tough gun. Now you do get a little mini slap on this one. It don't really feel the same, but I mean, it is what it is. Did I even get it? Oh, I got the magazine in. So let's try that again. There we go. So if it had a round in it, that's how it sound. But I mean, the trigger, nothing to brag about. I mean, long trigger. But if you watch my video, you see what I really did to this. Why this? Why I would put this on that? So that's why I had to put the Green Goblin, aka the CZ Scorpion, on the list. But I mean, it's it's pretty low. Like it was a hard one between that one and and the other one, number five. But I definitely have to put this in number four, only because the polymer, the trigger. And it's a nine millimeter so i mean for me that's already kind of taken down because i mean you're using a brace when you're using a brace it's already not going nowhere but chambered in nine millimeters not really all that but it, it's there's definitely a good contender so i mean it's definitely if if you want to pick this as your top backpack gun i mean i completely understand that because i mean it's definitely a nice piece cz scorpion y'all let me know what y'all think about this one in the comments now next on the list out of santa's backpack we got that Man, a couple of people's gonna be surprised about this one. I know a couple of people's gonna be surprised about this, especially because my reaction when I did take this to the range. But it coming in at the number three spot, we got that SMG 45. Now, like I said, they do give you one 20 round mag. Well, what is this? 25? 25 round magazine, which is, I mean, it's a decent magazine, but it's expensive, super expensive. But what we got here is that SMG 45. Now, this is going to be the giveaway. Now, the reason why I put this at number three, the reason why this even made the list is because, first of all, this thing is built super tough. Like, if you ever handled one, you ever held it, this is one of the best feeling firearms that I felt in a long time. One of the best. Now, I didn't say the best, but, but definitely one of the best. The grip is super nice. The trigger, a lot of people would like the trigger. Single stage trigger. Like, a lot of people would like it. Honestly, I, it's okay for me, but... I would, I don't know. I'm just different a little bit. I don't know. For me, I mean, I would kind of prefer kind of a two-stage trigger. But, I mean, it's definitely a nice piece. It's ambidextrous for the most part. I mean, you could take this out. You could switch this to the other side. But the only reason why this came in so low, was well, not low, but, you know, kind of in the middle, is one, this thing right here. So this little cap holds the tools to, 
you know kind of operate this and once you take those tools out because i don't know if you can hear it now but they move around in there i haven't this is a brand new gun like this is the giveaway one i haven't even i haven't took this one out i haven't shot it or anything and those things are moving around in there so in my personal one i took them out i took those tools out and this cap won't stay on i don't know what it is but it won't stay on and i seen that other people online was having that same issue and then, i mean everybody pretty much knows about the accuracy issue i mean i didn't so when I took it out with Zoe and Corey, I didn't really experience any of that. But when I took this out with Millstick J, we kind of, it was kind of a little iffy. I mean, y'all just gotta wait for that video to drop. So I'm probably gonna drop that video next week. And that's kind of why I would give this, you know, put this at number three. The reason why it made number three is shoots a 45. Shoots a 45, 25 rounds, a 45 ACP. I mean, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. But they put a lot of engineering in this. It's super soft to shoot. Like it does have, a reciprocating barrel kind of like a 50 bmg so when that goes back it kind of eats up some of that recoil it does got some heft to it but not too much to where some people's gonna complain oh it's too heavy just some manly ass tears right there that you looking at they do give you backup flip down iron sights just in case you want to use those or you want to use the optics so i mean they give you everything you need so this is a super nice package but it does come at that really nice price tag for them boys but smg 45 coming in at number three smg 45 now we're really winding down so right now we got the number two spot and i don't know if anybody's gonna be surprised with this one some people might be surprised with this one but for coming in at that number two we got that yes sir that arsenal sam 7k with the mill receiver let's go ahead and show y'all the mag is clear 20 round mag nothing in the chamber safe direction bow we only deal with safe firearms on the thing got a nice little 20 round mag in here but this right here is the arsenal sam 7k chamber it's 762 by 39 this by far is the best ak pistol period not just in my collection the best ak pistol period i mean there's some really nice ak pistols out there but i dare y'all to shoot this i dare y'all to shoot this and tell me not the only reason why this did not come in at number one? It's because of the trigger. The trigger, but this thing, I mean, it's super tough. It got some hinge dust cover, which we, I mean, the most part people hate about AKs is trying to put that dust cover back in after you clean it or something. It does have the folding brace because it is a pistol. It is, it kind of has that little style safety. So it has one on the grip and it does have another one on the other side so you can pick your poison with that. It does have a little rail on the side so you can put, I mean, it does have a little, slip on so you could put a rail on there I, I don't know why they did this so directly over that place where you put the rail you do have the rear sight so you would have to go with one of their specially made rails or something like that which is going to sit super high and ugly but me personally i just use the iron sights like i prefer the iron sights on this and this one did come with a flashlight right there but this is this thing will run through anything i'm talking about this thing it's super tough super smooth this is like damn near one of the ones that i would grab if anything happens like like if i have to just run out and grab one and we like hi, we go into the woods or something we're gonna be somewhere where it's not gonna be a lot of resources to clean to do all that stuff definitely this is what i'm grabbing because it's gonna run it's gonna run regardless it's gonna run through anything and it's gonna eat all them rounds up all them 762 by 39 rounds it's gonna spit it out with the flash hider with the flashlight with everything that this thing offers I feel like it's it's damn near the perfect package. Don't, now, one thing I don't like is I don't like the grip. The grip feels, I don't know, cheap. And you that takes me to a whole grip. But if I had, if I did that, I would have to remove that little grip safety. And I kind of wanted to keep that. So I was just like, whatever, it is what it is. It's not really that bad. But Sam 7K made my arsenal one of the toughest, if not the, no, actually it is the toughest AK pistol that you can buy. So Arsenal Sam 7K. This came in the number two spot. Now, the number one, the number one, a couple of people's already going to know. I mean, you should already know. The, the number one barely beat this, but it did beat it because, I mean, this one just, this next one just has too much to offer, honestly. So, let me go ahead and show y'all what I put as my number one backpack gun. But before that, before that, I do want to show you guys my honorable mention because, you know, I got to have an honorable mention in there. That's bad, though. So, now with my honorable mention... We gotta, I mean, I gotta show y'all. I gotta show you. So for my honorable mention, now this is a super 
tough, super hardcore, super like pinpoint accuracy at a thousand yards. What? Pinpoint accuracy. This is, I mean, it barely made the cut. So, the, I mean, the other ones kind of beat it out barely. Like, this one really should be on the list. But this is my Cobra, man. You keep that thing away from me. Is it looking at me? Can it see me? <laughs> Got it. No, I'm just playing with y'all boys. Like, I've seen this back there, and I have not taken this thing to the rage. Like, this is a nasty one right here. This is definitely a joke, but this thing could fit in the backpack. Like, let me go ahead and show y'all that this thing is clear. But nothing in there this thing could fit in the backpack because this little stock it comes off so i mean it was turned into a, you know a, kind of a compact package but i feel like this is a perfect backpack gun for somebody who can still carries a high point <laughs> so if you can still carry a high point this is what's going to be in your backpack but i mean it just looks i think it looks tough because it's this is the thing that's in the old gangster movies and a lot of people haven't seen something like this before but m11 rifle carbine m11 carbine i don't know what else is called but it's just saying it's nasty so this is no this would never make the list but i mean it is what it is super tough m11 now let's be serious completely disregard that m11 let's go but let's get back to what took that number one spot like i said it has to fit in the backpack or you can't really call it a backpack gun but this definitely took the number one spot and y'all should already know what it is like y'all should already know what it is but let's go ahead and show y'all for those boys who don't know we got that obviously that drd tactical mfp 21 chambered in 300 blackout or 556 223 yes 300 blackout or 556 223 all you got to do flip this lever right here take this front off and put a um, 556 223 barrel on it and you're good to go say you don't need it to change anything else you're not changing the bowl you're not changing anything else you're good to go so in case you don't feel like really burning through your pockets with that um 300 blackout round you got that 556 that 223 now y'all can't tell me this isn't the best back that gun like so for y'all to really understand why i like the way this thing shoots is because you y'all you gotta try it like if you go watch my video everybody who tried this was surprised that this was a 300 blackout this thing shoots so smooth and this thing has a really nice two stage trigger y'all boys check this out so that's the wall let's let go of that that's the wall go off i'm talking about i'm super surgical with this thing but the only way you guys are really gonna understand this is if you get it in hand and shoot it this thing is worth every penny hands down it is ambidextrous so it does have a um, slide release right here and it also has we'll turn the light on right there it also has another one right here and if you guys didn't see my breakdown video of this this will break down to be able to fit in like a fanny pack or something this thing right here will be able to break down to fit in the fanny pack so i mean this had to be my number one pick like hands down drd tactical mfp that's 21 definitely taking that number one slot on my top five backpack guns so i mean y'all see mine y'all drop your top Number one backpack gun. Y'all drop it in the comments. Y'all boys run this up. If, like I said, if this gets 20,000 views or 5,000 likes, we will in one day. So by the time this thing says one day, if it's at 20,000 views or 5,000 likes, we will be running back that SMG 45 giveaway. Hands down. No donations, no nothing. Hands down, we're running that thing back. So y'all make sure y'all hit that post notification bell. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.